Well, folks, a wild one in Las Vegas tonight. Game seven of the very first round. Minnesota Vegas in the 47 degree Las Vegas sun. We've got hockey action in late May. And this play starts off pretty innocently. Uh, five minutes into the first period, they're moving up ice. They play it forward, and it ends up on the stick of Matthias Janmark. And as you'll see here, Puck's coming through. we got two wild defensemen. Everything's just fine. One on two. They'll converge. Everything will be okay. But as this puck comes over to here, you can see it's sort of standing on end. It's sort of rolling. Uh, Holden will stick, or Janmark will stick his stick out, and he's basically just going to chip this thing up in the air. It just pops up. And uh, we have uh, a defender here, I think it's Cole, tries to swat it down. You see this elite swatting technique. Look at this form. Great form to swat this puck down. It ends up hitting, I think, Yanmark in the leg. And just because of this, it's going to slide right through and onto the tape of Yanmark, who's able to walk in. Talbot looking at him, chest is square, ready to make the play, but Yanmark's going to do a little fake this way, go back and drop the puck in. Kind of just a little quick backhand forehand. Talbot is sliding this way, just slowly sliding forever into the corner. Insert your shooting stars meme here. And uh, and uh, Yanmark just taps it in to make it one nothing. The second goal of this game comes with about three minutes to go in the first period. Of course, Vegas on top, one to nothing after that last goal by Matthias Janmark. And a pretty normal play behind the net. Uh, there's a battle in the corner, ends up moving over to this guy here. And he's all, all he's going to do, I think this is Parise here, he's literally just going to take it and he's just going to sweep it around, right? Chip it back, back to your D-man. Everything's fine. And what he's going to do is he's going to go and he's going to make himself felt right in front of the net, which is always what you should do when the puck's at the point. So Suter gets the puck at the point. We see uh, Eric Sinek make his way over, plant his feet here, and is pretty unaccounted for, right? We can see one, two, three, four Vegas players here. I think the fifth one's in the corner over here. His job is to get on Parise and take him out of the play, but this puck's just going to come back. Suter pretty innocently looks at Dumba, sort of looks him off, and then he's just going to let a quick shot through. And again, I want you to see Two Vegas guys sort of focusing on uh, on Eric Sinek here. Everything, like, wh why why are we ignoring Zach Parise in front of the net? Flurry's being forced to look over the guy's shoulder. Uh, this shot's going to come through, and it's going to get to the goalie. It's going to get stopped. Or no, it's going to get blocked, sorry. It's blocked in this sort of mess here, and then it dribbles. It just dribbles right here to Zach Parise. Look at this quick reaction. He's already got a stick in the air right here. You can see it. He is ready to just smack this thing through his own legs. Flurry is down. He's trying to see it, but you can see this triangle of opening here for the Minnesota Wild. And all Parise does gives it a quick smack. It slides its way in. And just like that, we are tied at one with a beauty goal from Zach Parise to end the first period. Well, Vegas's second goal of this game wasn't as pretty as the other one. This one just comes off of a one face-off by Wild Bill William Carlson here in the offensive zone about two minutes into the second period while we're tied at one. A clean face-off win back to the point. Uh, slow motion makes face-offs really slow, but that's all he does. He wins this cleanly right back to the point now normally off these face-offs you see a big cluster of people emerge in front of the net but that's not what happens here as this puck comes back we actually see a lot of room right we got this guy coming up but really the shooting lane here it's got like this guy in the way but Suter's doing a good job of keeping uh this player out of it this guy's not near it no one is near the front of the net a pretty open look for nick hag at the point and he just lets it go and it just beats Cam Talbot. Uh, it comes in on the inside post, sneaks in right about there. This is one that Talbot should have, but he didn't. And just like that, Vegas is on top, 2-1. to one. All right, with this game at 2-1 to one for Vegas, we're about four and a half minutes into the second period. Wild need a goal to get back in this game. And they are on the power play after a rough penalty from Ryan Reeves. Sort of an interference, random sort of hit into the back of a Minnesota player into the net. So that gets called interference and the wild on the power play. And they are going to capitalize here. This is Spurgeon with the puck and he's just going to play it behind the net. Zuccarello has space. This puck's coming around. 
to here. It's just going to end up right here. Zuccarello is going to pick this up and take it behind the net. Now, the only real defender here for Vegas that's got this whole front of the net area is Mark Stone. But as this puck comes over, Zuccarello is going to take it around. Stone is the only guy left, right? Vegas is shorthanded. One, two, three. That's three of the four Golden Knights defenders over here, which means this whole side of the ice where you remember, you can only see one, two, three, four wild. There's a fifth one up here somewhere. So basically on this side of the ice, it is a three on one. Zuccarello makes such a good play here because Kaprasov comes in wide and Stone sees him coming in wide. So he's trying to block this passing lane, but Kaprasov does sort of a route like this, right? He makes it look like he's going that way, and then he cuts inside and gets in front of the net. So Zuccarello takes us behind the net. Stone, who had seen uh, Kaprasov coming around here, takes this path, right? So he could meet Kaprasov and interrupt the boards. But Kaprasov, with a smart play, cutting inside, because now this whole front of the net is open with Mark Stone going over here. And as we continue, a really good look off here. Look at Look at Zuccarello's face. He's literally looking over here. Zuccarello is completely tricking Mark Stone, making him go this way, then quick slide the puck here. Stevenson's not ready to break this up. It's a quick play. Kaprasov, a quick shot, beats Flurry. It's in the back of the net. We're tied at two here in game seven. All right, Vegas would regain the lead a few minutes later, though, about 12 19 on the clock. We are tied at two. And uh, this one's kind of rough on the defensive side. You can see we've got Greenway, or no, we got Spurgeon here. We got Suter here. We got our two wild defensemen, both sort of covering here. And as we progress, as we progress, if the video feed will go forward, there we go. Uh, we can see what happens here. One guy comes along down here. That draws this defenseman in to cover him. But what happens now is we have three Golden Knights between the net and the wild forwards which means if all three of them make a beeline to the net it's a three on, it's basically a three on one or three on two but if we look at this side here it's basically uh one two on one both coming in here so as we go forward this is a really smart play he draws the defender in if we can keep going here vlc let's go uh he takes his puck in down the wing here and he has his eyes up, and he looks, and he sees Pacioretty. Now, Greenway is kind of covering Pacioretty pretty weakly, like he's kind of on his back. The problem here, though, Ryan Suter needs to have his head on a swivel. He needs to be looking this way, looking this way, keeping his eyes panning across the ice, checking to see. He can see right now Mark Stone, not a threat, right? Like, he's in the far face-off circle. Zuccarello's kind of on him. No real concern here. But Pacioretty is literally in the slot, and if this puck gets to him, Greenway's behind him, and this entire lane in front of the net is wide open. A really smart heads-up pass here to sling this in to Max Pacioretty. Greenway, again, lazy, tries to chop on it, but also he kind of expects his defenseman to pick up the one guy in front of the net, but he does not. And this puck comes through. A quick shot by Pacioretty beats Cam Talbot. The Vegas Golden Knights are up 3-2. to two. Well, folks, the Golden Knights were not done. They're up 3-2 with six and a half to go in the second period. Max Pacioretty going to get this puck on the far wall. And he's got some options here, right? He can play this back to the point. And that's what he tries to do. He basically just sweeps it over, tries to play it to Chandler Stevenson. It kind of deflects back to the point to Shea Theodore. And I want you to see, you can see all five, three, four, five Minnesota Wild players all on this side of the ice, which means if this puck gets to Zach Whitecloud, he is all by himself. That's what it does. Shea Theodore, little slap pass. And the slap pass, what that does is it sort of holds everyone in the wild, right? It keeps them all stopped and it doesn't let them move, which again means that Whitecloud has so much room to act here. So this play goes over. Whitecloud has it. Talbot has to move over. And I want you to kind of look at where Cam Talbot is, right? Um, not a goalie, but what you try to do is try to keep your chest square to the shooter's chest and his chest is in line pretty much right here. If you just draw a straight line from Cam Talbot's chest. Now, White Cloud's chest is over here and the, sh and the puck is coming from here. And what this does is it moves Cam Talbot a little too far over this way 
and opens up this whole side of the net. And that's what Zach Whitecloud shoots for. The missed block here. And as you can see, basically the part of the net he's covering is right here. Leaving this entire side wide open. And Zach Whitecloud is just going to pick this corner with absolute precision. If you had Zach Whitecloud scoring in Game 7 of this series, you deserve some money, folks. That goes in. Zach Whitecloud makes this game 4-2. Well, folks, Vegas wanted to put this one away. It's 4-2, seven and a half minutes to go on the clock, and a pretty normal, tame play from the Minnesota Wild here in their own zone. This shouldn't amount to anything, but Vegas had their foot on the gas pedal. As they're stuck in their own zone, Suter turns around, and he looks to just play it around here, but instead he gets checked by the Vegas player and loses this puck on the wall. Suter needs to get rid of this thing faster. He needs to get it around to Dumba. He might have saw Tuck sort of sneaking in and thought, okay, I need to handle this myself. But at the end of the day, you just got to move that puck quicker. This gets checked and we can now see we have one, two, three, four Minnesota Wild players. The fifth is somewhere over here, completely out of the play, which means if this battle is won, I want you to think about the options that Vegas has, right? Let's say he ends up with the puck here. Well, there's one D-man for the Minnesota Wild, and there are two forwards. One here, one here for Vegas. So just two easy chances to score here, and that's pretty much what happens. Wa wins this battle. He's got it on the back end here, and he's just going to play it out front. Greenway is trying to come support. He's not even a factor in this play. He's just going to play it out to Matthias Janmark, who... Hasn't scored yet in the playoffs except for earlier in this game. Puck comes out to him, a nice little backhand pass. And he's just going to quickly shovel that shelf in past Cam Talbot. It's 5-2, and this series is pretty much over here in Game 7. Matthias Janmark would complete the hat trick on the empty net, out battling Addison of the Wild to win this game 6-2 to two here in Game 7. And you know what? A heck of a series from both sides. No one thought Minnesota was going to take this one to 7, but they battled hard, and Cam Talbot was excellent in this series. Again, allowing 5 goals does suck in a Game 7 for Talbot, but really he was solid as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, do all that good stuff down in the description. It's easy, just a few clicks. Follow me on Twitch, I might stream on there sometime too. We'll see you in the next one.